So up here we have the Bedford Community Health Survey. Of course, there's three different regions. So there's Lynchburg, Bedford, and Farmville. On your how-to guide, which will be attached in the email that we send out, you have the Lynchburg, Bedford, and Farmville QR codes. So you could complete them via a tablet or phone. Um, and the, there's also the URL links, which we typed in here, which directly took us to the survey for Bedford. <clears throat> so when you get a survey, each person will be responsible for a pack of all Bedford surveys or all, all Farmville or all Lynchburg so that it doesn't get confusing. And then you'll go to the corresponding URL link for that region. So you want to make sure that each one that you um, each survey that you're going through that the area at the top here matches. We're going to just go through the how to guide question by question for the first few and then I'm going to skip to the more challenging questions so we can address some of the um, the issues or the things that may come up. So question one and two, <clears throat> these are pretty self-explanatory but um, the first one's what is your zip code and then you see the paper um, survey, it's question number one. And it's also question number one in the electronic survey. And I had mentioned this already, but um, they don't always line up. So it, once you get to question three, there'll be one question off. So the paper survey will say question three, but the electronic survey will be question four for that question. So <clears throat> for what is your zip code? If left blank on the paper survey, you're going to enter the word blank in the comment box so that we know um, that this was not completed by the respondent. If an incomplete zip code is provided, for example, if they just put two digits, obviously we know that that's not a full zip code, um, please enter exactly what they put. We will figure out how to correct this at a later time. Um, if a town, city, or county was written in, um, instead, so like if they put Lynchburg, then you're going to put Lynchburg in because, of course, there's various zip codes. So our team will figure that out afterwards. Um, question number two, what's your age, is also question number two in the electronic survey. If this is left blank on the paper survey or more than one age is selected, please select or please set aside the survey and don't complete it. So we'll have to actually assess this with our team to figure out how to approach that because of course if they selected two on the paper survey, they selected 18 to 24 and 25 to 34, which we have seen <laughs> um, confusingly. But if they select that, our two options, then we're gonna have to figure out what to do with those surveys. So you can just put that one aside and notate on a sticky that um, it's for Centra to, to figure out. Um, and then <clears throat> question three, I'll have to go next. Okay, so question three here, you see the health factors. Um, I'm gonna pass the actual survey around. It's highlighted here under question three, health factors, and then there's also health conditions or outcomes. Here, it's all in one question. On here, it's questions three and four. So we've divided the health factors and health conditions out into two different questions here. Um, that is the only question like that. The rest are a little more self-explanatory, but um, if anyone wants to look at that, how it looks on there. So for question three, what do you think are the most important issues that affect health in our community when it comes to health factors? Um, they have the select all options, so they can select more than one and they also have others that can type in. So the, this was one of the um, questions that we needed to discuss, I guess, together to determine if someone doesn't select anything, my recommendation would be for them, for you guys to select other and then type in no response. Mm -hmm. um, any, any other option, any question with the option of other if they did not select anything, they left the question blank, I would say we should select other as a rule and put in no response. Okay, um, same thing for question four. So this is the same question, but with the um, lens of health conditions and outcomes. So 
hopefully they selected something as an option, but if not, they have nothing completed, we'll select other in the electronic survey and put no response. And then question four on the paper survey is question five on the electronic survey. <clears throat> and again, this guide gives you that um, clarity. So the question is, which healthcare services are hard to get in our community? Please select all. Same exact situation. Some people quite literally selected all, so then you would select every single option. Question five on paper is question six on the electronic survey. And number seven, nine, and 11. Those three are all similarly um, designed, I guess, for lack of a better word. So they're all gonna be answered in the same way. On the paper, it says, do you use dental care services? Or I guess we're at question seven, sorry. Do you use medical care services? And then it says yes or no. Mm -hmm. And then within the same question you have, if no, do you know where to go for medical care in your community? So it's kind of a loaded question with multi questions in it. Um, so how I did that was, you'll see all the response options here and then I'm sorry, it's question seven on paper, eight on here. Mm -hmm. um, so you see, if they selected yes, please select all the medical care services that they use. If they select no, please select no, I do not use medical care services. So these are those two no options. And then this question, to determine which of these you select, you will look at that final question. If no, do you know where to go for medical care in your community? If they put yes, then of course you'd click, you'd select no, I don't use medical care services, but I do know where to go. And if they said no, they don't know where to go here, you'd say no, I don't use medical care services, but I do know where to go. Again, if they put other, you could type it in there. So question eight on paper is question nine here. And that is true through the rest of the survey. It's just one question behind. How long has it been since you last visited a doctor or healthcare provider for a routine checkup? <clears throat> I have not, one to 12 months and so on. So for this option, um, on the paper survey, they should have only selected one. Sometimes they select two answers here, we have found. Um, in that case, we need to, I guess, determine what we would wanna do in that situation. I would think that maybe we would need to make, either make this as, uh, multi-option on the survey monkey or have them just put those surveys aside for us. Yeah, if they don't respond at all to this question. They'll skip it. Okay. Yeah. So if they don't respond to questions at all that have no other option, then you'll skip it. If they have another option and they didn't respond in that other option, put no response. So question 10 is just like question nine, uh, question eight which question 10 is question nine on the paper. <laughs> um, so you'll follow that same process. Question 11, how long has it been since you last visited a dentist or dental clinic for any reason? Again, if they don't select anything, you'll skip it. If they select two, you'll mark two options. Question 12 again is just like question eight and 10. So if they skip this question here, you'll just put other, no response. Same with eight and 10. All right, how long has it been since you last used med mental health, alcohol, alcohol use or drug use services for any reason? So this is question 12 on the paper survey. Same exact process. If they select more than one option, you select both. If they didn't, you'll skip it. Okay, this is, um, Question 13, again, you'll just fill in exactly how they um, filled it in, skip it if you need to, or type in no response here if they didn't um, put anything. Um, so questions 15, 16, 15 and 16, these will be changed so that you can select more than one option. Hopefully they only selected one, but um, and then they'll, you'll be able to skip it if needed. 
This is question 16 on the paper survey and 17 on electronic. During the past 30 days, select all that applies. So again, pretty self-explanatory. If they, if they left this one blank, we'll just collect, uh, select none of these for them because that is the same. Okay, question 18 is 17 on paper. So you see all the questions listed down here. Um, for each one, you will go to the drop down based on their answer. You'll click yes, no, or not applicable. I was told that um, some people are selected not, applic not applicable on the paper option, even though not all of them show as that being an option. So see how they're grayed out. Um, so if they put not applicable for that, you can select it on the electronic version. That's already an option. Question 19. Um, is question 18 on paper. So again, you'll just select one of these options or skip it. Same for this. Question 20, which is 19 on paper. <clears throat> okay, so questions 21 and 22. Question 21 is question 20 on paper. And question 22 is question 21 on paper. Um, you're going to put in feet and inches and their weight in pounds. Um, we could only, I know that they have centimeters and kilograms on the survey, but we could not do both in SurveyMonkey without adding extra questions. Okay. I haven't seen many people utilize. Them. I didn't think that they would, but if they do, we can send you guys like a, a um, online calculator that automatically gives us the correct responses. 23 and 24 are both the same, so you can select more than one option here. Jay, just a quick question. What yeah. if they just reverse those and it's someone is 72 feet tall and six inches, right? Can we just flip those? I mean, it's possible yeah. someone could do that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I think using your best judgment on stuff like that is totally fine. Um, we would do that anyway, so that's, yeah, acceptable. And will this question be changed too? Because some people left it blank. So will you be able to skip it? You can put okay. blank if they left it blank. Okay. <clears throat> so any time that somebody's left it blank, we need to write that in? Okay. Actually, let's say no response. Just, okay. Let's keep that consistent. Yeah, Instead of skipping, because like with 19, or question, yes. question 20, it says select option or skip. Yeah, 19 and 20. For any of the options right now that um, don't have the word other as oh, okay, a selection, gotcha. you will just skip it. Okay, so for 22, there is an other option. For 23, I'm sorry. Um, for 21 and 20, oh, I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. For 21 and 22 uh, on the electronic survey, which yes. is, yeah, um, you would have to type in no response okay. as their comment boxes. Okay. For 23 and 24, um, there is no other option. So if they didn't respond to these, you would just skip them. If they selected more than one, you would select all options that they selected. <clears throat> 25, which is question 24 on paper, there is another there is an other option. So you, if they didn't respond to this question, you can put no response in the other field. Um, and then answer accordingly. 26 is, um, the rules apply just the same. Same with 27, there's a not applicable option, so, or never, so you shouldn't need um, another option. Did 26 have a uh, not applicable as well? No. That's um, a skip? Well, they have I don't, I did not eat, but yeah, you would just skip it. Skip. 28, which is 27 on paper. Um, it's a Likert scale, so they, you know, you'll just select the option that they selected or skip it. Twenty-eight 
29. Again, there's another option, so if they skip the question, you can put no response. Otherwise, you'll select whatever option they selected. And if they select more than one option, then that will be, um, you can do that as well. Do you have reliable transportation? Yes, no, or skip if they did not answer. Um, what type of transportation do you use? Same rules apply. Other would be no response if they skipped it. Otherwise, you'll select whatever options they selected. Is 32. So I can't show you, but the question is 33 on the electronic um, survey. And it's, if you have no health insurance, why don't you have health insurance? Please select all that apply. If they left this answer blank, but indicated that they have some form of insurance in the question prior on 31, then you're gonna select not applicable, I have health insurance. Even though they didn't answer it, we can gather that, that, they, don't, um, that they have health insurance, so the question is not applicable. So it's okay to answer for them in that case. <clears throat> um, if they left this answer blank and they indicated in 30, question 31 that they do not have health insurance, then you're gonna type no response in the other field. That, those were the only other um, questions that like you might have questions about that we didn't go over. Everything else is consistent with the same rules that we touched upon. And then I did at the very bottom, you can disregard that highlighted statement. We are gonna type in all the raffle entries, so you won't even have to worry about that. So, okay. yeah. Can I ask a question about some of these others? What if somebody selects more than one gender identity or one high school level? We're, or just no matter what, if there's no other option, they will be able to select more than one. Okay, okay. And even if there is another option, I'm gonna have to make them so that they can select more than okay. one option across the okay. board. So as a general rule, Jade, if, if there's multiple choices and they select them all and there's no other, we can probably put them all in. Correct. Yes. If there is another, do we want to say multiple response or? Nope, if, there, if they selected multiple of the available responses and there is an other, you can leave it blank unless they filled the other in themselves. Okay. Um, if they left that question blank, then you can fill the other in with no response. Are there any other questions? I'm sure questions are going to come up. Um, if you guys want to go through, once you start on the first, if you want to go through the stack that you are given, and put aside all the ones that you have questions about and then you can go back to them and I'm sure there'll be like, you know, a few with the same type of question anyways that we can knock them out pretty quickly that way. Yeah, and during all the sessions, I'll be in the back room with my computer and you guys can just bring your finished surveys. If you have any questions that I can't answer, I will email Jade or Pat. Awesome. So that Actually, don't email yeah, Just email me. Yeah. <laughs> By general rule, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> You can email me and yeah. CC Jalen, just keep her in the loop as well. Um, but yeah. Anything else, Pat? Do you want me to? Um, no, I think that, you know, there, you are going to find some unusual situations with these paper surveys because they can enter or not enter as much as they want. And so, if, like Jade said, I think to err on the side of caution. If you have a question, just make sure, you know, just put it aside. Because um, there's no, I, we don't want you, you guys to have to feel like you, you need to make decisions about this. Mm -hmm. You know, we just really, I have to tell you, we really appreciate your help. And thank you so much, because this is a big job, so. <laughs> yes, thank you guys. Yes. So you've got some good guys.